and we have a great huge lineup for you today and in chair number one we have Nathan Block And in chair number two, we have Connor McCarthy rocking out. And chair number three, we have Mitchell Young. And we have chair number four, the blank chair. For our first blank chair guest, we're gonna have Mr. John Bigfer. <laughs> Welcome, John. Okay, let's roll. For our first game, we're gonna do a warm up of World's Worst, <laughs> which is my favorite game. Not. <laughs> so. For World's Worst, we get ideas of professions where people can be the worst at that profession. Actor. What actor? Plumber. We've got actor, plumber. Okay, are y'all ready? And for our first round, let's do the world's worst makeup artist. Rattle, 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 rattle. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to buzz me eventually, right? <laughs> okay. All right, you put these goggles on. These balls come at you pretty fast. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to go on you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, the machine was set to whore. Game on that one, uh, the world's worst butcher. Oh, I, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Aww. Right, I gotta remember to use my safety scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Femurs connected to the pelvic bone. Not anymore. <laughs> You're supposed to bring them to me when they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about world's worst uh, contortionist? All right. Oh, my back. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing so good. Okay. <laughs> World's worst uh, warden. All right, come on, everybody. Out, get out. Come on, get out. <laughs> I just want to let you know that I love you all. I'm here to support you. I'm here to give you the best years of your life. <laughs> Liar. Have they all got their chains on the feet, chains on the hands? All right, let's all go for a nice swim. <laughs> <laughs> what we have here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> ah, awesome. How about, okay, our last one will be the world's worst actor. Oh, me? Line? <laughs> I am not coming on this set until we have caviar catering. I'll be on my trailer. <laughs> to be or not to be, that is the question for intestines. <laughs> James Bond. Uh, nope. Don't tell me. I got it. Nope. 
I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, oh hi, Mark. And scene. <laughs> yeah. All right. And thank you, John Bickford. And so now for the blank chair, we have the adorable Cat Fenton. And for the second game we're playing, it's going to be the director. Woo! Yay! A fun one for sure. And Nathan, why don't you come on down and be the director? And we'll have Kat and Connor being the actors. So this game is we pick a scene from the audience, and the actors, the director directs these poor actors into whatever he wants them to do. We need a movie. A scary movie. Scary movie. Let's do scary movie. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, please don't stab me. I want to kiss you. Stop! Don't stab me. When I say cut, that means you cut. I'm sorry. Don't you know anything about movies? I cut her. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. See, you've got the spirit of this thing. It's, but see, there's got to be more cutting. So instead of just one knife, I want you to hold two. I want you to, to dual wield the knives. There we go. Excellent. Now, here's what I want from you. Okay. I want you to come at this from a different perspective. I want you to come at this not from a spirit of fear, but from a sense that you're welcoming death with open arms. It's going to be a liberating experience. Can you handle that? I don't want to die. Action! <laughs> oh, yes! You're going to stab me and kill me, and I'm going to die, and I'm never going to see my family again. Cut, oh, my cut, daughter! Cut. That's a real downer. You're oh. bringing the audience down. Oh. You need, okay, you know what? I was way off. Let's try this a different way. You, genius. But I need, when you're doing your little sound effects, I want it to be more menacing. From the gut. Yeah, yeah. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, there you go. You got it, perfect. All right, so we got to work on your character, but don't worry. I know you'll get it after 69 takes. So. <laughs> Thank you for the confidence. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to treat this like he's really a guy pulling a joke. You don't think he's serious. You think at the end, everything's going to be okay. Everything's, but you don't laugh. You Remember, cut. You're in the gut. Can you both handle this? Yes. Action. Yeah. <laughs> you silly son of a bitch. <laughs> You're gonna kill me, aren't you? <laughs> oh yeah, that hurts. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I'm so bloody oh, right now. God. <laughs> All right. We're almost there. Okay. But there, there, we need to add one more layer onto this. I want you to keep doing exactly what you're doing, but your Smurfs. Okay. <laughs> Your okay. Smurfs, okay? Okay. okay? You know the blue people? Yep. The Nanoi people? All right. Mm -hmm. Action! Smurf, 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 Thank you so much, Ms. Can Cat Fenton. Thank you, Lauren. And here we go. We have another guest for the blank chair. It's Remy Argentum. <laughs> and we'll be doing director again. And Remy will be our director. And how about Mitch and Connor will be the actors. And how about a super great movie for us? Mission Impossible. Lord of the Rings, how about that? And go! But how do we bring the ring to Mount Doom? Why, you shall not pass! Sam? Give me the ring, give me the Sam? ring. Sam? Sam? No, ring. I'm supposed to give hold on to it. I'm you, supposed you, to hold oh. on to it. I'm sorry, I, we have to travel miles and miles through snow and rocks. Well, this is a much unexpected journey. Cut! Yes. Cut! Well, I see how you got your roll on your knees. Come on, get up, get up, get up. 
Oh, this is. This is how we rehearsed it. You know. This is a travesty. I mean, come on. You, you act uh, like uh, you just uh, got your candy stolen, and you, well. You, uh, you act uh, like uh, you're uh, some uh, sort of Shakespearean actor. Come on. Mm, I'm actually a Shakespearean actor. Well, uh, don't quit your day job. Anyway, um. gentlemen, this is uh, not working out. Hmm. We need something with a little bit more passion. We need salsa. And I uh, mean... The, uh, the hips gyrating. I need a passion. I need something from the heart. <laughs> We're supposed to do that after we... Oh, oh, right. Here. Yes, I got it. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> give, uh, give me that. Yes, <laughs> I need salsa with, uh, with uh, this token-esque like appeal. And action! How do we bring the ring to Mount Doom? <laughs> Alas shall not pass. We go come hither, mountains and valleys and rocks. <laughs> mm. Have I ever told you how attractive you are? Ooh, we must make sure our bodies never fall very far apart. Ooh. Cut! Ooh, yes. oh. Cut! 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 <laughs> Get back up! I told you, get, uh, get up on your knees, I mean, honestly. And really, really, that was more samba than salsa. Oh, God. I can't believe oh. this. What am I uh, working with? We needed some chips is what we needed. Yeah. <laughs> let me do my job, okay? Oh, okay, yeah, let, me, okay uh, uh, <laughs> let me do my job, okay? Okay, got, I'm sorry. I'm... You got a problem? You got a problem with that? We can, uh, uh, we can easily find uh, someone else. We'll, we'll talk about this at home. <laughs> Okay. Wait, what do you mean at home? Just anyway, how it sounded. Anyway, we're gonna cut the salsa. Neither of you have any rhythm. Instead, I want you to think science fiction over the top. I want Kirk. I want Vader. I want. Uh, you know what? Play with it. Play with it. But do it with uh, more science fiction than fantasy. That stuff will never sell. <laughs> and action! How are we going to bring the ring to Mount Doom? <laughs> Captain's Log, I need you to give me the not pass. Oh, oh me. Mm. Oh, my. Oh, will you marry me? This is a but strange direction to take the story. <laughs> Oh my, oh, no. there are lots In space, of... we are out for 30 years, so I need some compassion. Is someone going to hear me scream? And scene. For our next blank chair, we have Chris Dean. And we'll be playing Changing Lines. So the way this game works is we have two actors out telling a story that we get from the audience. And when I say change, they have to change the last sentence they said to something completely different. So of course, Chris and Nathan for Changing Lines. Dun dun dun. Yay. Okay. And where are they? They're at a spa. And take it away, boys. Oh, look at my fingernails. They're just so perfect. That is an amazing job they did on you. Change. That is a really spectacular uh, nail job. Change. That is really deplorable. You should go and get your money back. I should, shouldn't I? Should I go to the cashier and get it back? Change. Should I go to the grocery store and get it back? Change. Should I go to the movie theater and get it back? Change. Should I go to um, Sam's and get it back? Well, I think that we should wait, though, until after we've had the hot stone massage. I've heard it's to die for. Change. I've heard that it leaves red welts on your back. Change. I've heard that it'll burn right through your spine and they'll have to turn you into the Terminator. <laughs> oh, I don't think I want to become the Terminator because I know what happens in that movie. Well, I mean, wouldn't you want to just kind of like stomp around and say, get out now? James. Wouldn't you want to like stomp around and say, I'm looking for Santa Cana? James. <laughs> wouldn't you like to just stomp around and say, I'm going to kill everybody? How about if I say, I'll be back? James. How about if I say, I won't be back? James. How about if I say, 
Goodbye. And see. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. And now we'll bring the other two guys up, Connor and Mitch, for changing lines. And where are Connor and Mitch? There. Oh, that's a good one. All right, boys, you're at a bank heist. Take it away. You got the guns? Well, I got the finger guns. James. Oh, you, you meant the real guns. James. The water guns? Well, yes, I didn't mean the water guns. See, we're, we're fighting a bunch of wicked witches. James. Oh, the water guns, we're, fight, we're fighting a bunch of, you know, a fire. James. You know, and we're, you know, we need the water guns because we're, we're fighting a bunch of uh, spores. <laughs> okay, and the spores have the money we want to steal. James. And the spores work at the bank. James. And we lit the bank on fire so we can come in and rescue everyone. And then while they're getting their blankets and their tea and, you know, just describing the events of what happened, we take the money and run. Exactly. It doesn't need to be that complicated. Change. It, 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 absolutely not. It has to be a big plan with diabolical solar-powered uh, fans. Yeah, it's a big plan where we just walk into the bank and do a transaction. None of this was, <laughs> none of this was in the Craigslist ad. Change. None of this was in the uh, e-robbery ad. Change. Hmm. None of this was what you told the guy who told the guy who told the guy who told me about what you wanted to do. And game. Okay. Great job. Okay, and for our next blank chair, we have got the lovely Emily Halasik coming up. Yay! And our game is gonna be two restaurants. So let's get ahead, go ahead and set up for two restaurants. And how's that, this one, Labajit works, is we have two restaurants, two patrons at two restaurants. And uh, we also have a waiter that goes in between the restaurants, which is M.A. Dorfler. <laughs> All right, so audience, for our first couple, Connor and Nathan, where are they and what's their problem? They're <laughs> contemplating adopting a child. They're contemplating adopting a child. And there's one right at the ready for you. <laughs> and for Emily and Mitch, where are they? Don't I know, where's the crickets? Santa, where's Santa and his elf. Santa and his elf. Oh, okay. Beautiful. And for M.A., what kind of quirk does she have? She cries over everything. Oh my. She cries over everything. Okay, and um, let's see, which button do I press? The one that says ding. Ding? Ding, a ling, ding! Let's go! You know, I've been thinking about it, and I think what is going to save our relationship is if we bring a child into the mix. I mean, that always works. <sighs> well, you know, we've tried that before, and, you know, I got that little issue. <sighs> Can you yeah. get you something to drink? We're just trying to discuss, you know, how to save our relationship. And, you know, it's nothing. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Look what you did. How do you think you're going to be able to handle a child when you can't even not make a waitress cry? You're going to make me cry. It's so beautiful. <laughs> this eggnog doesn't taste very eggy. Ho, 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 ho. Well, Ellie, the elf, um... I got you that egg because of that eggnog that's a little bad because we need to have a little talk. Oh no, uh, is it about when, my raise again? Well, when you went into the toy factory and you took your shirt off and started um, throwing things, throwing the toys, the kids' toys, uh, we're gonna have to talk about that. That was me, that was Ralphie. Why are you Ralphie? gonna do that? <laughs> oh, I didn't even say anything. Order up. I don't know. What do you think of this one? Um, I don't. I don't know. It just doesn't. I don't think it looked good in a Christmas photograph with us. Well, I just you know, this is kind of an old catalog, so most of these kids are probably spoken for. But you know, we got to make a decision here. Oh, I know. This is just. This is way more difficult than I thought. This is way more work. That one looks like a brat. Yeah, I definitely Four not. Eyes. Definitely here, not the here's type. Here's some water. Is it possible for me to get some lemons with my water? No, not this. 
<laughs> Look, Ralphie was just mad because I said no to his BB gun collection thing, so he just decided to go streaking one day, so not my fault. Well, Ralphie is, you know, the boss's son, so we got to kind of cut him a break. So can you do me a solid and uh, just take him out to dinner once? Raise my salary. <laughs> Oh. Do, do, do you guys want to order okay, you okay, little something? Girl? Little, would you, you like to come to Santa's sleigh? Up. So the truth of the matter is that I've actually already had another child with somebody else. And oh. I was wondering if we could possibly bring that child with us because she's kind of a derelict mother. Oh, you were wondering. You were wondering. I mean, why not just do it and not tell me about it like you've been doing this whole time? Well, you know, I was hoping you'd react a little bit better, but honestly, I just don't think there's any other way to solve both of these problems. And, you know, I just figured that that would solve a lot of problems all at once. Well, how old is this child? You wanted lemons. For all I know, it's her. <laughs> well, up. you know, I've been a bad boy. How bad were you? Oh, you very bad. You know, I had overdue library books, but that's not the worst part. <laughs> but but um, raises for everybody. I've been a bad Santa. Ho, ho, ho. All right. Ooh. All right. And uh, more vacation days. I'm planning my honeymoon in Maui. Mmm. Well, let's see if you've been a good girl. Let's see if you got a trip in the sleigh. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I come and live with you, please? Yes. We have a job. We can be one of our elves. And see. Yay. And for our next game, we have the diabolical, sexy, hot, Kenton Holden, ladies and gentlemen. And for Kenton's crews in the blank chair, we are going to be playing Quiz Show. And Kenton will be the Quiz Show host. No? No, that's a, that's like a definite no. No. All right, Connor, shall you be the Quiz Show host? Will you please? <laughs> and Mitch? Con oh, Nathan, stand up, dude. We need the name of the quiz show. What quiz show are they playing? Now. What's in this sandwich? That's a good one. What's in this sandwich? And take it away. I love that. Put your hands together, buddy. Welcome back to the show that everybody is just dying to try. What's in my sandwich? I'm your host, Hard Salami. And we have a clincher of a round from last time. Our reigning champion is back. Contestant number one, will you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm every father playing with his children on America's Funniest Home Video. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, and you've got quite a sum of money so far, but you could lose it all if you're not careful. All right, and contestant number two, our new challenger, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name's Billy the Kid, and I'm only three and a half years old. Oh boy, I guess we didn't do such a good job of screening. I will have to check into that later. Ah, right, contestant number three, please introduce yourself. Hi. Uh, I'm Harry Jess, and I design assless chaps. Well, that sounds like quite a bottomless job, if you know what I'm talking about. All right. It goes good with hard salami. <laughs> We'll talk after the show. All right, you all know how this game is played. We have Seattle versus Tampa versus Minneapolis in round one, which will go to the semi quarterfinals in Washington, D.C. After that, if a winner is not crowned, there will be consecutive sack races every Tuesday and Thursday until we finally crown a champion. All right, and with that, let's get right on with the show. Hands on your buzzers for question number one. 
you have a sandwich that you picked up at Jimmy John's. It was number four on the value menu. What's in it? <laughs> Contestant number two. Oh, that I, oh, that I, uh, I got up that bed I, oh, that, that I, that, that, what then? The judges are saying, sandwich. the judges are no. saying, close enough. Congratulations. You got points on the board. Because nobody really knows what's in Jimmy John's sandwiches, after all. <laughs> all right, hands on your buzzers. We're going to go to question number two. You ordered a sandwich at an Italian restaurant, but something was missing. What was it? <laughs> oh, contestant number three. Chihuahua meat. That is absolutely incorrect. What? Contestant number one, you have a chance to steal. That would be the... Oh! <laughs> that was a trick question, and he absolutely got the right answer. Congratulations. Because nothing is more Italian than a good kick in the sack. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the lightning round. And you know how this game works. We're going to have a sandwich in front of you, and you've got to quickly identify what's in it. There it went. What was in it? A bottle sandwich. That is absolutely correct. You got one point. Now, here we go. Lightning round number two. There's the sandwich. What's in it? <laughs> Contestant number one. Nuts? That is incorrect. I'm sorry. Contestant number three, you have a chance to steal. I think that's uh, blue cheese with, with almond and ketchup. That is absolutely correct. Very impressive, contestant number three. Yeah. Oh, and the sound of the chewing noise that we hear from the ceiling means it's time for the sandwich building round. <laughs> We're going to wheel some tables in here and with a bunch of different ingredients. And in five seconds, you need to make the most delicious sandwich I've ever eaten. Go. <laughs> oh, time's up. Time is up. Step away from your tables. Crap. Crap. Aww. Crap. <laughs> Let's see, they were all crap, but I have to choose a winner because it's in my contract. Contestant number two, you are our new winner. <laughs> we'll see you next week for What's In My Sandwich. Oh, thank you so much, Kenton. Take a sexy bow now. So, since this is scenes from a hat and I have been entirely remiss, see, I, I do like, uh, remember, remember Johnny? Johnny, he'd be like, oh, and he'd remember? That's me, I already knew him. So, for our, our last blank chair, we have the cutie, adorable Sam Hedden. And we shall be playing PSA. So Samantha, do you want to be the director or the player? Okay, so Sam, let's get Sam and Nathan together as players. I want to narrate. Well, you're a child. I want to narrate. <laughs> do I get to say that when you're host? No. <laughs> Right? But just for favors back at me, go ahead and narrate. And we'll have Sam and Mitch play. <laughs> it's PSA, and we need to find out what they're doing. They're mowing the lawn. They are mowing the lawn. Let's go. <laughs> Hi boys and girls, it's summertime, and you know what that means, time to mow that lawn. But you must be very careful, because lawn mowers could be a mite dangerous. So let's make sure that we have all of our proper tools. Do we have our helmet that could propel lawn mower blades if they would come in contact with your noggin? Do you have your steel gloves? Your steel toed boots? And most importantly, your clad iron jock strap. 
If you've got all those things, you're ready to mow the lawn. Now the very first thing you need to do is check to make sure your lawnmower has gas in it. But don't look in it with a lit match because that could be very, very bad. Look at that, poor Billy's burned his face. But luckily, Sally's gonna pat him off because she knows exactly what to do in any crisis. Now that that's solved, it's time to start the lawnmower. Simply pull the string until the lawnmower takes off. Keep on trying. Oh, there we go. But look, you've lost control. Oh, it's heading for the neighbor's chihuahua. What will you do? Oh no, we've turned him into little mini cocktail wieners. And scene. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, the adorable cutesy, sweetie, Sam Hedden. Yes, so we have another blank chair with us, and it is the atrocious foul mouth Ben. <laughs> Take a bow. <laughs> And let's see what we're playing for, or what we're doing. <laughs> I saw that, Nathan. It is story time. How's that? Come on up. We shall tell a story, and I will call out which number continues the story. What fairy tale would we like to tell a story about? What is that cream in the cabinet? I think that's delightful. What is that cream in the cabinet? Take it, number one. It was a dark and stormy night, and I needed something for my coffee. So I went to the cupboard and I opened it. There was a small jar with some very strange looking liquid that had a discoloration I couldn't quite identify. Two. The jar had three X's on it, many skulls, a Surgeon General's warning, and a lot of Latin phrasing that I repeated out loud three times. Four. When suddenly, in a puff of smoke, a mysterious pentagram appeared on the kitchen floor. Three. And within that pentagram, we, I took the, the, the stuff, the cream, and uh, put it all over my naked body. One. As I lay there, suddenly, Beelzebub appeared before me, and he said, I can either take your soul, or I can make you the most delicious salami sandwich you've ever eaten in your entire life. Take your pick. Two. And then I chose the salami sandwich, and out then appeared the host of my favorite game show, Hard Salami. Four. Upon appearing, Hard Salami proceeded to disintegrate into very thinly sliced bits, which covered the sandwich in the most strategic manner possible. Three. So the sandwiches uh, became zombie sandwiches in which walked up and started eating the people that made them. Two. And that's when I realized when you make a deal with the devil, he's kind of shady about it, you know? And game, beautiful. Looky there, there's another game. It's number of words. Okay, let's get everybody out. And let's see, for Connor, I believe that you should have three words, my son. I can do that. For Nathan, I believe that you should have seven and a half words, my son. <laughs> and for Mitch, we've got a whopping two for you, hun. <laughs> yes, and so what, are, what is our story about? At a carnival. You're at a carnival. And take it away, boys. Wing toss? Step right up, step right up, and see uh That's a scam. Clown? <laughs> no, this is not where the clown is. <laughs> <laughs> the clown is? That is what I could say, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> Really confusing game. Guess wait. How dare you? <laughs> yes, if you guess Very my heavy. weight, you get a... Uh, <laughs> Say blue, it now. Blue bear? 
prize that is very cool and you'll look. <laughs> okay, how much? It costs only 25, 25 cents per play. Uh. <laughs> what a rip off. But this I, is. I play. Well, thank you, sir. Could I have. Uh, Hey, $30, don't. $30? Yes, that will get you many plays now. Nah. Hey, don't budge. Nah. What? Uh, what? I'm mean? in front. Now, now, don't oh. fight. We have many. Uh. Ah, forget People. it. Game! <laughs> Seven and a half words. So that is all the time we have for today. We hope you had fun. We hope you come back and mwah. Bye.